Zerg versus Protoss. Foozle. Foozle. So if you just watched my previous live ladder, I did a 15-14 uh, opening. No hatch first, because it seems like the metagame these days, Protoss players just love going forge opening. And uh, they love going forge first and just killing a Zerg player who hatch first. Uh, 15 hatch, so... I'm gonna go speedling opening on these smaller maps. I don't mind speedling opening if they go for something aggressive like, uh, you know, three gate or actually, or sorry, like a one gate. Um, if they go for like a one gate, oh, what am I? One gate nexus or something like that. Then uh, I just over make zerglings and just kill his nexus. Unless he has, like, amazing force fields. I mean, it's really... I mean, if I make, like, 15 Zerglings, I think I can take out a Nexus. So that's kind of what my plan is here. And if he goes Forge fast... Whoa, that's a quick... That's a 19 thingy. Um, I definitely want to see what I'm up to. He's probably not going to Forge Expand. This is a big map to Forge Expand on. If people Forge Expand on this map, I think they're just dumb. Because it's a bad build on this map. The map is just way too open. I mean, it's possible. Like, you can go blah, blah, and then cannon here, cannon here. But... I don't see the, it's so risky and you can just three gateway I don't know that's my personal preference I guess if you're bored you want to forge fast all right this guy's gonna be my scout once again now he's just being annoying What's the matter with you? I'm just gonna go scout to see if I'm making a hatch, but no, I'm not making a hatch because I just went. <laughs> I just did this build. There's no way I'd be making a hatch. This guy's gonna go over here. It's gonna be number two. Looking good, looking good. Gonna make a queen. It's gonna supply block me. What do we got up in here? No forge fast expand. Looks like a straight up build from him. Gas. I'm gonna pull guys off gas just for the time being. See how many gas he has. Alright, I'm gonna steal his gas. Shit. I can't steal his gas. Also, the reason I like 15-14 here is it's easy to, uh, he's fast on that. I think he's going to Sentry Expand here. I think he's going to Sentry Expand. Let's see what he's got over here. Is he Chrono Boosting anything out? He's got a Zealot here. I'm going to do the little walkout trick. Bloop. Alrighty, set up my zerglings here. Control grouping it up. Need to hotkey that. Got supply blocked. That sucks. So what else was I saying here? Oh yeah, I think he's gonna sentry uh, expand off three gate. So we'll see if I'm correct. Put two guys back on gas when that finishes. Um, we'll wait just a little bit longer. Creep tumor. All right, now's a good time to go in. Same time, I'm gonna scout with my zerglings. Change my hotkey to rally. Oh, here he comes. Sentries, what did I call it? Ooh, look at this down here. Yeah, I got you, baby. So. Throw down a Roach Warren. He is definitely Sentry Expanding. Scouting his base for any goodies here. Yep, there's the extra base he made sentry, so he's not taking anything Twilight Council as far as I can see. Hate when my queens get on different um 
Let's go down to the evolution chamber. This is my zergling pressure I'm going to apply here. Make him use up some sentries. Uh, use up some... Uh, what was I going to say? Force fields. There it is. Got to get out of there before he uses us. Trying to bait him into. Looks like he's not going to. This is gonna work, so I'm just gonna. Our forces are under attack. I'm gonna run into space, scout him out. Yep, got in there. Do some scouting around. Make sure he's not going anything crazy. One stalker, full chrono boost. Slacking. There we go, my stuff gets lined up. Overlords, get back to base. Got a bunch of roaches here. Alright. More zerglings on the way. Let's do some damage. If I can kill this, that'd be nice. Where the hell is he? I'm actually going to run into space with that stuff. This is probably a bad move. I'm, I don't want to go up that ramp. And stuff's just coming in. I'm in his base. He's attacking from the outside where I would normally be. Zerglings destroying everything. Roaches, need to micro them a little bit better. Actually, like make an extra hatchery now. And I'll make a macro hatchery just because I've got so much damn money. So I kind of predicted how this game went from the get go, so I'm happy with that. Happy with whenever I uh, my predictions come true. It means I'm. Uh, have a pretty good understanding of the people's play styles and just like what's going on. So again. Going in for another attack. Now he's making pure stalker. Another upgrade. I don't know why he's still in this. Unless he's going like DTs or something. Oh, look at this over here. You guys kill that. The rest of the attack continues. Make four drones. We squeeze those guys in there. Go ahead and tech up. GG. There we go. So not much to talk about that game. It's pretty straight up. I uh, diamond player QQ. I need to get back into masters playing people. My Z, my Zerg. I just haven't had enough time this season to practice with my Zerg. It's just ugh. 
I got a job and I work. <laughs> so uh, I'll try to put, play a little more, but man, I got cast and I'm working on some other stuff. So I don't know, man, but that game went really well. Um, that's how I like to dismantle Century 3, like Century Expand. Um, try to run some Zerglings, try and bait some force fields out, and maybe do a run by. And just kind of keep the pressure on him so he isn't really, you know, working as fast as possible and just get up to a certain drone count and then just make a bunch of roaches, kill one tech build or kill one building, break into his base, Zerglings get in there, havoc ensues, make a bunch of units. And uh, as long as you're killing one or two probes, as long as you just keep killing a couple probes every time you go back in there, um, you'll just be ahead in the economy. I think economy was pretty... Actually, no, he was ahead of me in resource collection, right? Probably from the beginning when he had a bunch of chrono boosted workers out. Because uh, he did transfer quite a few. Yeah, I made 66. Dang. That's a lot. Anyways, that was a fun live ladder. See you guys later. Oh, yeah. YouTube.com slash Ian Subscribe, please. I'm getting close to 2,000. That'll be awesome. Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. I tweet about StarCraft only, so you don't have to worry about random tweets about me. Whatever. That won't happen. Just StarCraft only. So... Hopefully some people enjoy that. I'll tweet about tournaments that are happening, like cool matches that just happened, or um, also when I release new videos, which is pretty much the same time every day. In case you do not know that, I release them. I upload them on my way to work in the morning, so they usually appear around 11 a.m.-ish Central Standard Time, United States. That's all I got to say. See you guys later.